Donald Trump is a serial liar. Okay, to be a bit less Trumpian about it, he has trouble with the truth. If you look at PolitiFact, the Pulitzer Prize winning site that examines candidates' pronouncements for accuracy, 76% of Trump's statements are rated either mostly false, false, or pants on fire, which is to say off the charts false. By comparison, Hillary Clinton's total is 29%. But if Trump isn't cotton much to the truth, he doesn't seem to cotton much to his own ideas, either. He waffles, flip-flops and obfuscates, sometimes changing positions from one press appearance to the next. In an ordinary political season, perhaps Trump would be under fire for his habitual untruths, like the one that Ted Cruz's father might have been involved with Lee Harvey Oswald. This time around, though, neither the media nor the public, least of all his supporters, seem to care. Which leads to the inescapable conclusion that these days, as far as our political discourse goes, truth, logic, reason and consistency don't seem to count for very much. The question is why? One simple explanation is that Trump has changed the rules. He is not a politician but a provocateur, and he isn't held to the same standards as Clinton or Bernie Sanders or even Cruz, all of whom actually have policies. For Trump, policies are beside the point. Another explanation is that long before Trump, social scientists observed that truth matters less to people than reinforcement, and that most of us have the ability to reformulate misstatements into truth so long as they conform to our own biases. We believe what we believe, and we are not changing even in the face of opposing facts. There is, however, another and even more terrifying explanation as to why the truth doesn't seem to matter. It has less to do with Trump or our own proclivities to reshape reality than it has to do with infotainment, with the idea that a lot of information isn't primarily about education or elevation, where truth matters, but entertainment, where it doesn't. You might call it the Winchell effect. The Winchell effect is alive and well in today's politics in two respects. First, candidates can get away with saying pretty much anything they want without being held accountable so long as what they say is entertaining and so long as they keep the comments coming. Trump has been the major beneficiary of this disinclination by the MSM to examine statements. The blast of his utterances always supersedes their substance. And the MSM plays along. Trump is the fullest flower of a non-political politics and the fullest product of the Winchell effect. With their mutual lack of interest in the truth, Trump and the MSM deserve one another, a synergy of the showman and the gossip columnists. But do we deserve them? Only if we allow our politics to become a way of amusing ourselves rather than the way to select a leader. Meanwhile Trump and the MSM will keep the misinformation coming, on the sadly correct assumption that many of us don't really care about facts so long as we are being titillated.